back here with the NASDAQ and uh, yeah, what can you say? There is absolutely no relationship between uh, the NASDAQ and the real economy. The unemployment rate uh, is now the highest since the Great Depression and the fundamentals for the, uh, the, economy, the economy is absolutely horrible. Um, uh, it looks like the Nasdaq is is uh, has a V-shaped recovery. However, this is because the the Nasdaq is heavily influenced by only uh, uh, like four main companies that are driving uh, this uh, index higher. And I do believe that this this momentum will not continue, even though uh, the Nasdaq has basically broken through all the moving averages and um, and probably some of the resistance. We have a massive gap here, which uh, the Nasdaq has to break through. Uh, but also, if you take the Fibonacci retracement, we can see that the Nasdaq has broken through quite a long time ago, the, the, the 61.8 Fibonacci retracement, and it's heading basically to all times highs. Um, if we look at the MACD, the MACD does signal, um, does indicate that we are going to cross the signal line at some point and basically take this market lower. Um, subsequent, the, the stochastic is um, is also at a, at a peak, and the Bollinger Band are also touching the the, the top line. And all of these things basically indicate that we may see a market that will go lower before it goes higher. Um, some of these stocks have, if you can look at Amazon, and uh, for example, uh, the stock was way overbought and uh, has retraced and is now going back up. But at some point, uh, reality has to kick in because if you don't have um, the jobs anymore, if they basically vanish and consumption gets hit and so on, that will also affect tech companies, even though uh, the world economy is going um, to transcending from, from um, uh, to a more virtual economy where you, everything is bought online. But you still have to have people that have cash in their pockets in order to buy these goods and so on. So I do believe that this market will go lower uh, probably in the next uh, five trading days because of this enormous gap that is here and will take a lot of uh, positive news in order for uh, in order to break through this gap. So we may see a market that it goes back uh, and uh, to hit the um, the uh, probably the the two hundred uh, moving average, and then go back. So we'll probably go around eight thousand five hundred area uh, before we go higher. Uh, that was for our uh, technical analysis for the Nasdaq. Um, um, happy trading and please subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much.